Well, imagine this. You're sitting on a train and something in the Colorado wilderness catches your eye. A woman stranded along a riverbank fighting for her life, frantically trying to get somebody, anybody's attention. Sounds like something out of a movie, but for one hiker, it was an all too terrifying reality. The 20 year old woman went for a hike, fell off a cliff, broke her leg, was stranded for three days before a passenger on a train spotted her leading to her rescue. We are joined right now by Deanne Gallegos with the San Juan County, Colorado Office of Emergency Management. Deanne was part of the team who responded and rescued that stranded drive, uh, hiker. Rather, Deanne, thanks so much for being with us. The, the most remarkable part of the story is that this train passenger could spot that hiker in distress and no one else had. So <laughs> do you think you would have been able to find her if not for that traveler? You know, she was stranded in the remote wilderness. And if it was not for that hiker, um, we would have not been able to rescue her. Tell us about the rescue. What made it so difficult to get to her? So the Durango Silverton narrow gauge train takes you through part of the wilderness in San Juan um, Forest. And it's only accessible through train tracks. This particular hiker went off of the Colorado Trail and meandered down the riverbank when she fell off the cliff and was injured. And therefore, there would have been no humans on the trail wow. that would have spotted her. So she was off the trail. She was off the trail. OK, yeah, that, that can happen when we get off our path. Um, in terms of the difficulties for your crews getting in to get her out safely, how, how precarious was it for them? So this particular search and rescue call took helicopters, trains, railroad pop cars, hiking, foraging oh across goodness. the river. It took all of that to get to this particular patient. How much do you know how much it cost? You know, I don't know the cost, but in the end, saving a life to all of us is absolutely invaluable. Yeah, you are 100% correct there. She survived three days in the wilderness, no human contact with a broken leg. Are you surprised that she made it out alive and that she was actually spotted by that rider on the train again? She had a lot going for her to have her come out of this safely. Not only did she spend two nights in 20 plus degrees, she mm. had no food, little water, no shelter, and just a tank top and shorts. In 20 degree temperatures. Yes, when you were up at 11,000 elevation feet, you could experience any type of weather. So it really was a miracle that she survived three days and two nights on her own by the riverbank. Do you know how she stayed warm? So we were told that she tucked herself kind of under a boulder to protect herself from the elements. Um, and that potentially is what also helped save her life. Deanne Gallegos, thank you so much for all that you do and all that your teams do in saving lives like that one. Wow. Thank you again. That's just remarkable. It is indeed. Thank God that passenger was paying attention, you know, just looking out the window or whatever and happens to see someone in distress. I've taken that exact train really? from Durango to Silverton. The views are spectacular, but luckily there's a lot of open cars. You can look out and see things. It's just very lucky that it's that kind of train that goes on the rails and not like a freight train where you don't have right. anybody. Right. I was looking at that train. It was very rustic looking. Mm -hmm. And again, you could see places that you can't get to by foot. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.